black tape like I need you to have, but the tape that, uh, this tape to hold things together, the black tape you were supposed to bring, remember? Work with each other if you don't have everything that you need. There is also, let's see, so that's everything up here you can grab. So today in class we're going to be building pinhole cameras and the students already have a background of this. It's all about learning how light is connected with film and this will be transferred into when they get ready to use their 3 to 5 millimeter cameras. They have to have that understanding of light and this will really help them understand it. This really is a basic piece and we, in the first week of school, we turned our camera, our, we turned our classroom into a camera so students would have understanding of light. We've taken this to the next step and we're learning a little bit of history about photography and so they understand that pinhole cameras is um, part of that history. And then what we do is we move that on a little bit and as students start getting their actual 35 millimeter cameras, they will have an understanding of how uh, light affects their, um, their photographs and whether it, whether it uh, affects the mood or the, uh, um, even, even just having an accurate photograph. So it starts there. But then we also move on to things like composition and we will continue on with the uh, 35 millimeter camera and learn really heavy information about composition. And that transfers into uh, the following class, which is um, photo two, which is basically a digital photo class. And they still have to understand the basics of light and how that works on their camera then. So this all ties together in the long run. And the hands-on part of this class is really important for a number of reasons. Kids seem to retain the information better if they get their hands on and they figure out how things work. Now, I don't offer them patterns. Uh, as far as building the cameras, we learn the concept of you have to have a light tight box, you have to let light come into one small opening, and they figure out how to put this together and make it work. It's not about measuring a certain pattern and everybody having a cookie cutter camera, but it is about them figuring out how the whole process works. And hopefully they can uh, carry that on into uh, their other classes as well, because they learn uh, pragmatism, creative problem solving, you know, all the things they're going to need. You know, once they graduate high school, when they don't know what their job's going to be.